See this right here? This is not true. So what I want to teach you is the basic understanding of stud value and how far a player can jump because you know it's frustrating when you can't go far enough or the door is too small so this is what this video is going to teach you about hello my name is acidical portal and welcome to my next uh tutorial so this video i already told you about it so let's get right into this so as you can see right here this right here these numbers are the stud value of how far a player this this part to this part is how many studs apart so this is four studs away from this part right here this on the other hand is 15 and that one is 10 but our experiment here is to find out how far the roblox player can jump so if we go test the game when I run the game, we should see the outcome of this and see the max distance of how far your player can jump. Because if you want to know the exact amount, it's always important. So, all right. So, all right, I can jump four studs, no problem, right? So if we go over here, this is too many studs away. Like the page said, 17 studs a player can jump, but unfortunately I cannot jump that far. Even with the um, the new types of how Roblox players are made, that might affect it a little bit, but not too much. And this is 10 studs away, so my player can probably reach 11 studs, but this is probably the uh, max amount you want to go if you're going to do a uh, obby i mean you can do whatever you want but that's this 10 studs is about how far um a player can jump and that's that's what i researched and uh experimented with all right the next part is um how high a player can jump so if you look it up and see how f high up a player can jump it's actually not 7.5 it's more around 9.5 so if we play here if we play in the thing it is good to know obviously how high you want your studs to be but all right so if i go here i can jump 7.5 no problem i could probably actually go a little bit higher and barely just not touch the block eight studs on the other hand, I can still jump over, okay. Nine studs, it's getting a little difficult, but I can still jump over. Twelve studs, I cannot jump over, but my character can go over it. So it's about nine and a half to ten studs that your player can jump over before the uh, limit of um, your character's jump height is maxed out. Next part is um, the uh, width of you um, of door frames and uh, openings. So it might not seem obvious. I mean, sorry, it might seem obvious, but sometimes when you're building, it can be pretty unobvious. So you should definitely check the um, size of the parts. See, this is only four point six studs tall your character can absolutely not fit through that um that is too short your character is about five studs tall so um sorry four if this is four studs your character cannot fit through that because he or she is five studs tall so if we go into this um, your character should struggle to go through so as you can see, uh, I cannot fit through this right here. Uh, if I select part, we can still see while we're uh, our client is in the game. Uh, this is this is a bit taller. Oh, I'm sorry. This right here 
has a little opening, but uh, it's just a little bit thinner. Uh, I can go through it a little bit, but uh, my hat is no clipping through this thin part right here. This right here is probably good enough. And this is about seven studs tall. And your character's only fine. So I recommend six studs or taller. Um, this is a little bit short, but even though your character can still go through, this is six. Yeah, sorry, this right here. You get what I mean. So this is probably a good amount if you want um, seven studs tall, if that's what you're looking for. And um, that should be good enough. And also, you don't want them to be too thin either. If I make this go in a little bit more, this is about five maybe a little bit less would seem obvious. I think at this point it's pretty obvious it's too thin. Your character can kind of fit through these but not very well. So just make sure that it's not too thin for your character to fit through. Uh, I'm kind of staggering so let's go on to the last part of the video. Um, actually yeah uh, just one little thing before we get to this part is having a ruler block is always helpful because you can look at it and uh, you can use it to objects and I could say I could figure out how wide this um, block is we already know how tall it is but we want to figure out how wide it is uh, it will say right here it is 5.3 studs wide so um, that's definitely helpful you get the gist of it I don't have to do any more explaining. All right, finally, the last part is the character itself. So by default, your Roblox character is about five studs tall and four studs wide. So that's not bad. Uh, I know I already mentioned that a lot, but it's not very obvious. The Wikipedia for Roblox says you're 5.1 studs tall. I don't know where they get this information, but that is not true. Your character is five studs tall. So if we go to the parts, your leg should round up uh, to probably the third of it. So it's about two feet uh, on the uh, Y axis, two feet tall. Uh, the torso is about, uh, yeah, the torso is also two feet, so that's two plus two equals four. And then the head is uh, one tall and two wide, but that's a mesh. So it, these are all meshes, but that's a different kind of mesh. We don't have to get into that, but the head is one tall. So two plus two plus one equals five. However, if we go to the um, arms, the right arm is one uh stud wide on the x-axis um, and on the other side is also one and in the middle is two two studs wide so one plus two plus one equals four boom so keep that in mind uh if this helped you in any way um Definitely, definitely use like a ruler block or I just made this up. I didn't get this from the toolbox. Um, if you want to scale things, just remember um, how big your character is. Uh, remember uh, not to make the, you know, door frames or openings too small. Or if you want to make an obby, that, that's the point um, of making things challenging like this. Maybe have it like 10.5 if you want to have it like barely possible, but don't have it like that far. And uh, that's how you know how far uh, and wide a character is in Roblox. So uh, I hope this video helped. Uh, subscribe if you're new to the channel and if you enjoyed my video. Uh, like if you like, dislike if you didn't like my video. Uh, that's about it. Peace out, guys, and uh, happy, happy New Year's.